Hey, welcome to that episode of Beers, Jack and Barbecue. So today, a little something different, doing some breakfast. You notice we always have beer out, but a little Bloody Mary action going on here as we got ready for our shoot today. I got the little griddle set up on the Weber gas grill. Um, we had the little griddle out in to do a stir fry, and it was winter time. While it worked okay, because of the cold weather, it just didn't hold the temperature. So got an 80 degree day today. Gonna start off with some bacon on the little griddle. Um, probably chop that up a little bit, get the eggs going for an omelet. Also gonna add some pork roll just to fry that up and then finish the omelet off with some uh, white American cheese, boar's head white American cheese here. So, gonna try this, haven't done it before, haven't done breakfast, but I got the little griddle before to do like cooks on the back patio here. If it's gonna be breakfast or if it's gonna be some kind of fajita you know, some quesadilla, stir fry, whatever it's going to be. We can do all that outside and enjoy the nice weather here in Pennsylvania when we get spring summer. So uh, enjoy the introduction. We'll see you on the grill. All right, so full disclosure. <clears throat> Last batch of bacon got away from us a little bit. Got a little bit well done, but honestly doesn't taste bad. But for the camera view, we didn't think that was gonna be the best. So I always have extra the homemade bacon ready to roll. We'll try to keep an eye on this batch a little better. I have to tell my cameraman to keep his hands off his Bloody Mary while we're doing this. We call that the uh, Bloody Mary effect. All right, we're back in a little bit quicker than the last time. All right, so like I said, you learn from your mistakes. First batch got, like I said, well done, but one, wait till we show it to you. Even this, like I said, has the black edges, that's actually really the brown sugar that's from the bacon. Even though I rinse it, it still hangs on there. Um, like I said, Jack likes well done, and even though that looked burnt when we pulled it off, half it's already been eaten. So uh, this will be just another minute. We'll pull this off, and we'll get into our eggs. All right, then we're going to pull it off. Yep, it's looking good from my experience. When you get that bubbling on the top, it's ready to go. We're going to come back here shortly, get the pork roll on, and get the eggs going. All right, going to get the pork roll going, and going to get the eggs going. Going to do a little bit of a three egg omelet there. Pork roll on. I'm gonna try to get this in the corner. Even though we tried to level this thing up a little bit, it still wants to lean to that corner. Which is, that's all right. Actually, will help us keep this in place a little bit. We'll close this down for just a minute. And we'll be back. All right, I'm gonna take a quick peek at the eggs. Actually, they look kind of nice here. I'm no expert with the uh, spatula out here. I was hoping to do some sort of omelet, but I no, can't say I will accomplish that. Might end up being more scrambled eggs with bacon and pork roll. Be back here shortly. All right, another flip of the eggs. Like I said, these are gonna be done. It actually worked real nice with that bacon going on first. I will try to salvage some sort of uh, omelet scenario here and get some cheese on this. Take a quick look at this uh, pork roll. Actually, I actually didn't realize I had an extra piece there. That's looking good though. Let the cheese melt. We'll be back here shortly to pull the eggs off. 
All right, so I'm going to bring the tempo shrimp on the little griddle. Won't hurt the pork roll. Going to bring the eggs off. And I have the steaks ready to roll there. They like said cheese and totally melted, but well, that thing worked great to make these eggs. Man, I'm really pleased with that. I have to tell you that. Um, get these steaks on. I right, said so these are only like a half inch, maybe. So they won't take long. And like I said, with a high heat, this pork roll will get done pretty quick. And we'll uh, be back here shortly. All right, quick peek. I know we want to do like the pork roll just one more time on the other side. I did fire up the grill all the way up. I remember to wear gloves when I do this. Yeah, these need a little bit more for color. But uh, next time in, we'll pull the pork roll off and let the steaks go one more time. All right, going to take the pork roll off. Yeah, that's looking right. I had to pause. Grill's hot. I think I learned my lesson. Alright, a little bit more on that. One more side because we're going to be overdone at this point with those steaks. So, be back shortly. Alright, I'm going to pull them off because I know, even though we don't look like they're totally crisp on the outside. Oh, there we go though. Maybe I won't pull them off. Just let me get a little bit on that for color. Be back in like 30 seconds. All right, gonna yank them off. I just don't wanna, like I said, these are gonna probably be already medium well to well already. Um, but did get some color on the one side, so that's a good thing. We'll uh, show you cutting into a couple different things and we'll see you uh, shortly. As always, Cheers. All right, so here we are, the end of the cook. Thought it was gonna be some simple little bacon and eggs on the little griddle on the gas grill. Turned into quite the feast here. You can see our charred baking, which we like to call charred. Actually, as you can tell, half it's gone already because like I said, my cameraman Jack likes well done bacon. Here's batch number two. Looks perfect, I kinda of like it done a little bit harder myself. Did some pork roll, looks great. Um, I didn't take my drink, so here we go. Get that out of the way, because all the food is here. So, Cameraman Jack, that's better than a diner in my opinion, but I cooked it, so I guess I can say that. Surprisingly, did some minute steaks, didn't even plan on doing those, I had them prepped, I had them got up. I bought an entire New York strip, um, the entire loin, and I cut some real thin because I wanted to try some real hot and fast at different places. I got them out last night figuring what we're going to eat today. We're doing some other things today as well. And I thought, well, I'm going to throw them on the little grill. They call them breakfast steaks. Why not have them with breakfast? So here they are. I'm going to cut into two things real quick. Take a little taste. Um, I love pork roll. Pork roll is more of a regional thing from what I'm aware of. Um, New Jersey is where it's huge. We actually have pork roll day in New Jersey, believe it or not. So it was just in May. Um, but here it is. That's very good. Just salty, fatty pork, I guess, is how I could explain that. The uh, Minute Steaks were prime New York strip steaks. Like I said, bought the whole thing. Cooking them this thin on, on the little grill is probably hard. Yeah, they're medium well to well at this point whereas we like everything medium rare but still New York strip still steak so I'm sure it won't be bad well I didn't mention because we didn't have it in the beginning but I seasoned those with uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it but it was an, an all season so garlic pepper salt it wasn't Cosmos uh, killer hogs I'm sorry Killer hog seasoning, I think it's just a real fine grade of that, so I like doing that on my steaks instead of Cosmos, more of a coarse uh, all-purpose seasoning. Did it this morning, let them sit for probably four hours, because again, I work full-time yet, so I wake up at six in the morning, even on the weekends. 
cameraman Jack doesn't know what nine o'clock means in the morning. So had him up early this morning, did some good Bloody Marys, nice big huge feast here for breakfast. So hope you like what you're seeing. Subscribe to the channel, click the little bell, get reminders every time we put them out, which is every two weeks. And share with your friends and we'll see you next time.